Hi, my name is Tim Davis and I'm the product manager for TensorFlow Lite. Here we are at TensorFlow World and one of the really exciting things uh, that we have to demo today is TensorFlow Lite on microcontrollers. Uh, microcontrollers are everywhere, they're in all the things that you use, they're very, very small circuits uh, and now they can run machine learning. What we're demonstrating here is TensorFlow Lite Micro running on a Cortex-M4 from Ambic. So we're simulating an anomaly with an offset weight on the motor. When we increase the speed, vibration happens, this turns red, that indicates there's an anomaly. That's running from the TensorFlow Lite Micro engine. And then on the cloud, this will turn red as well. Check out tensorflow.org slash light. There's lots of code, documentation, and samples available. So TensorBoard is TensorFlow's visualization toolkit. It enables you to track your training metrics, like loss and accuracy, visualize your model draft, inspect the model parameters, and a lot more. At TensorFlow World, we announced TensorBoard.dev, which lets you easily upload your TensorBoard logs and get back a link that you can send to anyone. So you can include it in your GitHub issues, your Stack Overflow questions, or even your research papers. You can go to TensorBoard.dev to learn more and try out a collab that you can get started with really easily. So TensorFlow.js is a library for doing machine learning in JavaScript, and it brings machine learning in the hands of web developers and other JavaScript developers who don't necessarily now have to use Python-based tools. Uh, the library is full-featured. We have packaged a whole bunch of models which let you bring machine learning into your application straight out of the box. And these are pre-trained models that make it super easy to uh, enhance your web applications with. Uh, we are showcasing some new models here, some faster versions and performance improvements in some of these models. Uh, and these are great for use cases like accessibility, recognizing people and gestures and images, um, text classification in, in web interfaces, uh, as well as speech commands models to recognize spoken words. In addition to using these pre-trained models out of the box that we package for you, often you need to train a custom model for your application on your own data. And this can be pretty challenging. So Google has a service called AutoML, which lets you bring your data to Google Cloud and train a custom model. And these models are optimized for your problem. They give excellent accuracy and performance, and then they are ready for deployment. We are really excited to announce that we now have integration of TensorFlow.js with this AutoML service. So what that means is after training a custom image classification model, you can export it for use in a web application with the click of one button. And we have early customer testimonials who are showing the impressive gains that they get in their workflow by using this service. We are also showing some of the improvements that we have on performance and platforms. One of the things we are really excited about is React Native integration. So if you are a React Native developer who's trying to build cross-platform native applications, you can now use TensorFlow.js directly from inside React Native, and you get the full power of WebGL acceleration. We are seeing a lot of our users here who are giving exciting talks on applications that they are building with TensorFlow.js. One of our favorites is from um, Dr. Joseph Paul Cohen, who's from the University of Montreal and he's showing how they're using TensorFlow.js for scoring chest X-ray radiology images in the browser. And this has huge privacy implications because patient's medical data stays client side in the browser, doesn't go to the server side, and you can run powerful machine learning models directly on client side. And we're here looking at TensorFlow Extended or TFX, including the great pipeline that you can create to move your model to production with TFX. The pipeline starts over here on the left where you're ingesting your data, you're creating TensorFlow examples with it, then you're running statistics across your data, which you normally would do, and then uh, you're looking for problems with your data with example validator and doing feature engineering with transform. Eventually, when you've got everything right, you're gonna train your model and then do deep analysis with evaluator, looking not just at the top level metrics, but at each individual slice of your data to make sure that the performance is good across the whole data set. Then if it is good, you're gonna use model validator and pusher to push your model to production. But TFX is actually more than just a pipeline. TFX is a whole suite of tools, including the what if tool. The what if tool lets you do deep experimentation of your data set to see if I make changes, how does it affect the performance of my model? If you want to learn more, go to tensorflow.org slash TFX.